played outside any chance I could get. For us growing up in Egan, we had ponds real close to us, playing sun up to sundown. Dad would come and it would, the rink would close and he would turn on the headlights for us and we'd still be out there. Everyone just kind of flocked to those rinks and we were out there constantly. As a kid, we probably were outside all the time, 24-7, uh, especially playing like street hockey, which I think is a lost art for kids. I attribute a lot of my skills to those years of playing out on the lakes, playing out on the ponds, a lot of hours in my life. I lived at the outdoor rink. After school, I would do everything I could to get to the rink as fast as I could. I loved it. There was nothing more I loved than being at the outdoor rink. I think I feel more fortunate and, and really lucky that I, I was able to do that. We were next door to the Broads, and so they have their four kids, and we would play. You could try things that you wouldn't normally do, maybe in a practice. You didn't have someone directing you, that you actually had to experience things that would work. So you'd try different things, and you'd learn, oh, this kind of works, or this doesn't work, you know? And you could have that trial and error, and kind of just figure it out and figure out how the game works. Having fun is what it's all about, really. If you're not having fun, you know, it's not worth it. Hockey's such a great game, and you're going to develop so many friendships and relationships. It'll last you a lifetime. Being out there, you get a chance to be creative and do things you're not going to do in a regular game. Stick handling, if you ask anyone, they'll say that's the best part of my game, and that's definitely where I got it from. It's important to get outside, to skate on the frozen ponds, and just be a kid. That's how I think the best players learn the game, is that instinct. And so get out there as much as possible. Male